Different Methods for Ascites Volume Estimation by Ultrasound The method of assessment of free fluid in the abdomen is not well standardized by any organization. Various methods have been used in different clinical and practical and research studies. Each method is liable to errors and variations and all of which depends on experience, expertise of operators. Methods Number 1. Semi-quantitative measure. Subjective assessment is generally not helpful clinically and needs experience, expertise and is subject to significant operator variability. It is classification of ascites as minimal mild, moderate, severe and massive by looking for the presence of fluid in five areas of the abdomen namely right upper quadrant, perihepatic and Morrison's pouch, left upper quadrant, perisplenic, right paracolic gutter, left paracolic gutter and pelvis. Fluid in one location equals minimal ascites. Fluid in two locations equals mild ascites. Fluid in three locations equals moderate ascites. Fluid in four locations equals marked ascites. Fluid in five locations equals massive ascites. Number 2. The smallest fluid depth measured from the most superficial bowel loop to the abdominal wall, and the fluid volume is 5 liter for depth measurement of 5 cm and for every 1 cm increase in the measured depth, there is an average 1 liter increase in the volume. Smallest fluid depth in centimeter multiplied by 1000 equals volume in cc. Number 3 Longest Fluid Depth Measure the maximal fluid depth, enteroposterior diameter, multiplied by 100 equals volume in cc. Depth of deepest pocket in centimeter multiplied by 100 equals volume in cc. Number 4 Morrison's Pouch Small anechoic stripe in the Morrison pouch represents approximately 250 milliliters of fluid while 0.5 centimeters and 1 centimeter stripes represent approximately 500 milliliters and 1 liter of free fluid, respectively. Width of fluid in Morrison's pouch in centimeter multiplied by 1000 equals volume in cc. Number 5. Acidic Fluid Index Method The proposed ascites index seems to buy a promising tool in estimating ascites volume. It is simple to implement and may be estimated using basic ultrasound equipment. Ultrasound measurements of the volume of ascites are performed in the four quadrants of the abdomen in the vicinity of the liver, spleen and bilaterally above the inguinal ligament. Pockets of free fluid were measured in millimeters, perpendicularly to the tangents of each quadrant of the abdomen. The obtained values were totaled, creating the ascites index, similarly to the amniotic fluid index. Index below 50 equals mild and 50 to 150 equals moderate, and above 150 equals marked ascites. Number 6 Scoring Method in Traumatic Cases Two scoring systems currently exist for the fast examination and patients with scores more than three require exploratory laparotomy. A. First scoring system. One point was assigned to each of the five anatomic sites in which free fluid is detected during the fast scan, with a score ranging from 0 to 8. No fluid equals 0 and right upper quadrant, hepatorenal equals Morrison's pouch, equals 1, and left upper quadrant, spinorenal and lesser sac, equals 1.
and right lower quadrant, right paracolic gutter equals 1, and left lower quadrant, left paracolic gutter equals 1, and pelvis equals 1. Fluid of more than 2 mm in depth in the hepatorenal, or the spenorenal space was given two points for each instead of one. Floating loops of bowel were given one point. B. Second scoring system measurement plus points in other four areas. Measuring the depth, maximal anteroposterior dimension, of fluid in the deepest pocket, for example in the pelvis. And give one point for fluid if present in each of the remaining other four areas, for example heptorenal, spenorenal, right paracolic gutter and left paracolic gutter. For example if the largest collection of fluid was in the pelvis of depth, 9 cm, determined by measuring the fluid from anterior to posterior and Morrison's pouch shows additional site for fluid while other areas show no fluid. So one point is given for Morrison's pouch, resulting in a hemoperitoneum score of 10, 9 plus 1. When we measure depth equals anteroposterior dimension, we use transverse scan and when we measure longitudinal dimension, craniocutal dimension, we use longitudinal scan. In amniotic fluid index and ascites index we use longitudinal scan to measure longitudinal, cc, dimension in four quadrants and summate the four measures to get the score. Here are some of references in this topic.